This is the life of St. Mary of Egypt, one of the Coptic Church's most revered desert mothers. St. Mary was known for her perseverance. She turned her life around and willingly followed Christ, despite years of sinful practices. How the life of this aesthetic woman played out is contrary to how her life started. Before renouncing the world, she lived in sin, enjoying all worldly things. We know her story because God led a holy and righteous man, St. Abba Zosimas, into the wilderness who found her living a simple and pure life. When Abba Zosimas discovered St. Mary in all humility and perseverance against her past, he cried asking for God's mercy and for her to reveal her story and journey towards perfection to him. He prayed saying, I beseech you by Christ our God, do not conceal from me who you are and how you came into this desert. Tell me everything so that the wondrous works of God may be revealed. From there, St. Mary recounted her story to Abba Zosimus. She was born in 345 AD to Christian parents in Alexandria, Egypt, and left her parents when she was only 12 years old to seek out the work of the devil. Satan led her astray, causing her to live in sin for 17 years. She used her body for impure things and had relations with men that were not her husband. Then the Feast of the Cross came along, and St. Mary wanted to follow the grounds to Jerusalem, looking for men to entertain herself with. However, when she arrived at the Church of the Resurrection and attempted to draw near and enter the church, her body became still, as if there was a force pushing her backwards, and she was unable to step closer into the house of God. St. Mary marveled and knew it was due to her sinful life that she could not open the doors of the church. She cried out to the Holy Theotokos, saying, O Lady, Virgin, who gave birth to the flesh to God the Word, I know that I am unworthy to look upon your icon. I rightly inspire hatred and disgust before your purity. But I know also that God became man in order to call sinners to repentance. Help me, O, o pure one. Let me enter the church. As soon as I have seen the cross of your son, I will renounce the world and go wherever you lead me. Once she said this prayer, she felt her spirit being comforted and her body able to go into the church. Inside the church, St. Mary stood before the icon of St. Mary the Holy Theotokos and asked her how she could save her soul from years of sin. Then she heard a voice from on high say, If you cross the Jordan, you will find glorious rest. With haste, St. Mary left the church and rushed to cross the Jordan River and was led for the wilderness, which is where she lived for 47 years. She told her story to Abba Zosimus, the father who had been walking in the desert, by saying that ever since then, for 47 years, she has persevered through struggle in the wilderness. In return for telling him her story, St. Mary asked that the following year she bring her communion, without telling anyone of her existence until she had passed away. The next year, Abba Zosimus came back to St. Mary and she was able to partake of the Holy Eucharist. St. Mary then asked him to come the following year. When St. Zosimus came the next year, he found that St. Mary had departed. He found her body with a lion next to her and words written, Bury Mary, the pure woman, in the dust of which she was created. Abba Zosimus buried the body, prayed over St. Mary, and told the monks her story upon returning back to the monastery. May her blessings be with us all, and glory be to our God. Amen.